Hi, my name is Kevin Burns, and this week's religious education video is about why we pray the rosary. The rosary is the most popular private prayer in the church, and whether we grew up praying the rosary, we were told to pray the rosary, uh, some of us are never told why. I know I used to get lost in the Hail Marys. I wanted to mean every word of the Hail Mary, all of them, but they are meant to help us reach the real purpose of the, of the rosary. What we're supposed to do is meditate on the mysteries of Jesus Christ, the 20 highlights in his life that the rosary brings us to. And we're using the Hail Marys to ask for her intercession to bring us to her son, because that's the purpose of all of Mary's actions, all of Mary's intercessions, to bring us closer to Jesus Christ. In this case, uh, we want to meditate on her son's life and live our life accordingly. As says, said in Psalm 77, I will recall the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will call your wonders of old. I will ponder all your works on your exploits. I will meditate. If we remember what God has done for us, we remember his love and his mercy. We can bring that mercy into our lives, live as Jesus lived in his grace with the, his help and the help of his mother. And this is shown in the final prayer that's traditionally said after the rosary. By meditating on his on the mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate with and contain and obtain what they promise. Through same Christ our Lord. Amen. We're supposed to imitate the life of Christ and attain the promise of heaven. That's all the rosary is trying to do for us. And now, how do we get from just saying the Hail Marys to saying the Hail Marys while we think about the life of Jesus? One of the most popular ways right now to do that is called a scriptural rosary, where after every Hail Mary, you say a scripture verse associated with that particular mystery. Let's do the Ascension, because Ascension Sunday is coming up soon. So after every Hail Mary, you would say a verse from the Ascension story in the Gospels. That's either a line, a quote from Jesus, or something about Jesus, so that you enter into that story and remember what Jesus did for you. And I think this could help when we're praying with children. Because the RE years, for the most part, kids can sit for 20 or 30 minutes. Maybe I'm talking to a wide swath of people, so every kid is different, and that's okay. But let's talk about going from behaving to praying. Because just because they sit there and say the Hail Marys for 20 minutes doesn't mean necessarily that they're praying. They may be thinking about something else, and that's okay. That's a place to start. But let's help them move that along. So scriptural rosary may help with that especially if we ask them to engage their imagination, where they use those verses to picture themselves at that mystery. So it's the ascension, they're watching Jesus ascend into heaven, the transfiguration, they're on the mountain with Peter, James, and John. And then at the end of the rosary, you can ask them what they thought, what they saw, what, they, what Jesus told them, and you'll be surprised how much faith a, a child could have. And I think in the month of May, it would be wonderful if you and your family start praying the rosary and actually father matt is challenging the whole parish to do so he wants 2020 rosaries said by saint james in the month of may and to be honest if we all said one rosary from the point this video is posted online if all re families said one rosary we'd blow it out of the water it wouldn't be it wouldn't even be hard one rosary every day and we will have resources in this email as well as the e-blast to help you if you've forgotten how to pray the rosary. Maybe you were never taught. But the rosary is a beautiful way to stop in your day and remember the life and the works of Jesus Christ and bring his life more and more into your life and more and more into your families. The rosary has brought many people to sainthood, specifically St. John Paul II credits the rosary with him being as holy as he is. And here's your chance to help your family become a part of that. Let us know if you need anything. Thank you and God bless.